Hello everybody. Hey YouTube, it's A from Ebony Girl Speaks. Listen, I really, really want to do a review for you guys. Share what I have found out about these two products that work for me and my tightly coiled hair. I received them in the July curl box and if you saw the video I did, you know I was none too pleased at all with the contents of the July curl box. I was much more pleased with August and I should have did a video. I started it but it didn't come out right and I used another camera. It was just crazy so I just didn't even go through with it. But since I've been receiving the curl box, I've never really used any of the products. I think that um, I used another product and I'm going to do a review on that one. But no, I use, okay, so if I've been getting it since June, July, and August, I've used maybe four of the products. I did a review on the Shea Radiance um, Hair Moisturizer. I don't know the full name of it, but that stuff, I love that stuff. But like I said, um, this came in the July curl box, and I was like, eh, let me try it, you know, see what it's like. So I did, and I liked it, and of course, these are the products. Yeah, the Motion is Naturally You. It's the Smoothing Conditioner and the Moisturizing Cleanser. I was very, very surprised at these um, items. Um, first, let me say, let me talk about the Moisturizing Cleanser. Now, um, this stuff here, it smells real perfumey. Usually with shampoos and conditioners that smell real perfumey, I try to stay away from because I feel they have a lot of harsh chemicals. Because remember, I don't read chemicals at all, the um, ingredients. But um, that's how I feel about this one. I usually like to use a shampoo that's um, creamy in color, or white I should say, not something that's like the clear or the yellow. If it's creamy, I like it. This here, to me, is very, I mean, it's great. It's really great. It's a lawn-tested, moisture-rich cleanser. It has shea butter, avocado oil in it, coconut oil. And it left my hair feeling really, really soft after I washed it out. And let me say another thing, too. You do not need a lot. I mean, you need just maybe a quarter size of this cleanser to cleanse your hair. And if I could use a quarter size to cleanse my hair, trust me, because I have a lot of hair on this big head. So you only need a quarter size, for real. I'm telling you, it lathers. Like, I had so much lather. I love lather. But I had so much, I was like, oh goodness. And I used maybe just a little bit more than um, a quarter size. So a quarter size is all you need. But anyway, um, it's, it's thick. It's not um, a loose shampoo or cleanser, I should say. So it's a cleanser, so maybe that's why it's thick the way it is. But it's thick like um, a cleansing cream would be. I really have to say I like it. Um, some of the ingredients, of course, they start with water. Um, sodium chloride, they have, um, let's see if I can figure out, half this stuff, I can't really read it, and I'm not going to try to act as if I can pronounce these words, as a matter of fact, a lot of the words, I know I see honey is in here, they, they tell us that shea butter is also in here, magnesium citrate is in here, um, but most of the words I'm telling you are words I cannot even pronounce. I guess you can go to motionshair.com to find out more about the ingredients. Um, like I said, a lot of these words are like, I'm not even going to try to pronounce. And my camera won't focus right now, but so you can at least get a good glimpse of what may be in here. But it's for all natural hair types. I really, really have to say I liked it. It really surprised me. The only thing I don't care for, like I said, is the smell. It smells real perfumey. And usually with shampoos and, you know, shampoos and conditions that smell like that, I really, really do stay away from I try not to um, get with them. Because to me, I feel they have a lot of harsh chemicals. And here, you can see, because a lot of these names I can't even pronounce, and I'm not even going to try. Most of the time you look at a um, product, you can, you know, pronounce a lot of the names, some of the names, the majority of the names. These names here, not many of them can I pronounce to you, um, 
just coming off the bat. If I was reading it myself, I could, you know, so deep, but we don't have time for that, right? So, like I said, if you want to know more about the ingredients, go to motionshead.com. Now, this one here, the um, smoothing conditioner, also it says that it has um, shea butter, coconut, and avocado oil in it. This here, um, when I rinsed this out of my hair, my hair felt so clean. I mean, whatever may have been in my hair because of these two products, they really got rid of it. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's not a clarifying shampoo, but my hair had never felt that clean. If, it, if your hair can feel clean, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you put your hands, well, when I put my hands in my hair, my hair felt so so clean I don't know how to explain it but I really really like I just it, it felt soft it didn't feel hard or strawy that isn't even a word but I just made it up but it didn't feel hard or like I had any harsh chemicals in it it felt nice it felt soft I could just oh it just felt like a wet cotton ball does that make sense no but get my drift and I find that any shampoo and conditioner that can do my hair that way has to be a great product. The only thing, I wouldn't use it on a regular basis. I wouldn't use it often. Like, I have this here. Um, I'll use it up. And I probably wouldn't buy it unless I saw it on sale at a great, fantastic price. I mean, like, buy two for three or four dollars. If that ever happens, I don't know. But not that I just like it. But it's not something that I would buy and keep in the stash all the time. But I have to say, I liked how it made my hair feel. And I think it was really this conditioner that I really liked more than the shampoo. Because with the shampoo, you know, when shampoo is in your hair, your hair is going to feel nice and soft. And you can run your hands through it and all that other stuff and yada, yada, yada. Once the shampoo comes out, to me, that's when the test really begins. How does it feel? you know, after the shampoo is rinsed out your hair. I didn't find anything too spectacular about it after I rinsed my hair out. But for some reason, when I put this in it and rinse my hair out, the conditioner, oh my goodness gracious, I really have to say I love how it feels. And this here is the same thing, um, a lot of words that I cannot pronounce. I mean, they have more big words in here. I see um, hydro July's wheat protein. I see that. I see, um, like I said, go to motionshair.com and see what else is in here. I already told you there's shea butter in here and coconut oil and, um, hydrogelized carotid is in here. They got sodium chloride. Um, let's see what else is in here. They got myristic acid. Mm-hmm, yeah, honey. You have honey ash extract in here. Hmm. Let's see what else I can picture. Okay, this um shampoo has a silicone in it, so I think that'll be a concern to some people. With this shampoo, um like I said, all these crazy names I'm telling you. So if you are an ingredient reader, you really need to go to motions um here dot com to get the ingredients. I'd try my best. I'm sorry I couldn't do much better. But you know, like I said, ingredients don't mean that much to me. Um, unless I find that something that doesn't have something in it works well with my head, then I'll remember that like the um Shea Moisture product that I did a review on, I really, really like that. And it made me decide that I should pay more attention to what is not in a product because it really did my hair fantastically well. But this conditioner right here, I have to say, is what really, really makes this duo um, a win for me. Like I said, I wouldn't purchase it always, excuse me, having this stash at all times, but I definitely will make sure that I have this in the stash all the time. I really, really like it. It's, it's very thick. You only need a little bit of this stuff, too. I didn't put a lot. Usually, I'm very heavy when it comes to products, but um, I try to control myself with this. 
something's going on with the weather. I don't know if it's going to rain or what it's going to do, but at least I'm not so dark. I don't know. But um, it says for both products that after I open it, I have 12 months to use it. I think it's going to take me longer than 12 months to use it because, um, I don't know, like I said, this is just not something that I can see myself or always wanted to use all the time. I think I will use it next week. But like I said, it's just the smell that makes me think of, of two harsh of chemicals in here and I don't really care for that. But I really want to let you guys know about this product because you know whether or not this is something that you're looking for or something that you think you want to keep in your stash or use on a regular basis you should try it because if you're like me you're trying something and you're trying something else I don't see anything wrong I was watching a video and the person said if you come across something that you like you should stick with it I think that's true too but it's nothing wrong with trying new things because you always come up with something that you may like better I mean you don't want to spend twenty thirty dollars on a curling cream and it doesn't work of course but um that's why you have sisters and friends and people here on youtube that you can um ask if they would like it you know hey a gift but um my lighting is changing i was i'm now disappointed because at the beginning of my video my lighting was pretty decent but not anymore huh but at least you get an idea of what it is this product i really really like it i don't know how to say it more than that like I said I will I can't say that I will um buy it all the time but um definitely definitely I will be using this on a regular basis so try it out if you can it's not bad and if you got it in your curl box even better because this here really should last you a long time remember with the cleanser you only need it and look it's um an eight ounce um tube so with the cleanser, you only need a quarter size. And if you wash your hair um, every week, every two weeks, this you can see will last you a long time. So to me, it really is worth it. And if you're just looking for something to um, cold wash every, you know, your hair and silicones um, don't bother you much, I don't know. Um, you should try this because this right here makes this a great duo. Yes, it is, and it's not very expensive. I'm sure if you live near near a Walmart, as opposed to Rite Aid, Walgreens, the way we, you probably can get this real cheap. Cause at Walgreens, I don't remember it being no eight, nine, ten dollars. But I didn't want this. I bought some other um, Motions products. I reviewed one, I, no two, and I have one more to review. I have so much stuff that I bought that I need to review. And um, I like letting you know how things work. And I hope that you see my honesty with products. If I like them, I'll tell you. If I don't like them, you will definitely know. Because like I said before, and I'll say again, I consider myself the product skeptic. As far as I'm concerned, nothing works. Nothing will moisturize your hair like they say it will. Nothing will clean your hair like it says. Um, it, the twisting cream, yeah, okay, whatever. It can't be no better than the next one, whatever. I know I shouldn't think that way, but I just feel that people will say whatever just to get your money. Like curls unleash, I don't like it. I see they have um commercials on TV, and I want to say to anybody looking, don't buy that stuff. But it didn't work for me, and I see it didn't work for a lot of people. But other people like it, so hey. But I really do think curls unleash need to go back to the drawing board. That's just the drawing board. Or the cooking pans, or however they come up with concoctions. But I, that's just my opinion. I don't know if you agree. Thumbs up this video. Listen, I'm be about to be out. I have to start thinking about dinner. I don't know what I want to eat. I don't know. Maybe we we'll eat out tonight because I just can't see myself cooking. And look what the sun has done. It's going in, y'all. It's not here anymore. And now I have um sunlight hitting my head and I'm shiny and everything so you know I got to go but at least my video was not dark so I can't complain about that so I want to say um thank you for stopping to watch this video hopefully I'll see you in the next one and I want you to share and spread love